Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I normally don't do these types of videos, but it's cold outside and uh, a little too cold to ride. And I wanted to go over a few things that I've learned with putting accessories on this bike. Uh, this is a 2023 300L and uh, I put a skid plate on it, a luggage rack, hand guards, uh, frame guards, and I'm getting ready to replace the incandescent headlight with a LED. Not sure why Honda's still putting uh, incandescent bulbs in 2023. Uh, the Kawasaki that I had had an LED and it's really nice, so I'm, I'm going to change this out to an LED. But first of all, I want to show you the accessories and, and what I got, and uh, I'm going to put a link in the description of what I ended up getting that worked. I tried a few other things that didn't work, so I wanted to share those with you. First of all, I want to talk about this luggage rack. I had purchased one that was made out of tubes and I really didn't like it. It wasn't wide enough. And um, so I, I sent it back and got this one. I forgot the name of it. I'll put it, I'll put it in the description, but it's, it's flat. And you have a lot more surface area here. Uh, it's like three more inches than the, than the one that was made out of tubes. And uh, the only thing I'm not really sure about is the sharp edges on the side here. I just got this zip tied down, but it is a big platform. I like it. Uh, it's, it's a lot more stable. But anyway, uh, that's, that's one of those things. It's just preference, but I just happen to like this style better. And then I, <clears throat> I purchased these frame guards and I tried a, a cheaper set from Amazon that said that it was made for the, the 300L but it didn't work and I sent them back and just ended up getting the, I think it's Acerbis and those fit great, didn't have any issues. They have little rubber O-rings that stretch around the frame and those fit great and I like those. So I, I highly recommend those. Don't waste your time with the, the cheaper ones. That next is this uh, USB port. I had it on my Kawasaki, so I just reused it. There's a plug down here that Honda offers uh, for you to add accessories to, and it comes on when you turn the switch on. And that's worked out well on my Kawasaki, so I just used the same design on this. Uh, my phone holder, uh, again, I moved it from the Kawasaki. It's just something cheap I got off Amazon, but it works really good. I haven't had any issues with my phone coming out. Um, it, it works great. It's uh, You squeeze it to open it up, and then when the phone goes in, it, it clamps in. So that actually has worked well. And the main thing that I wanted to talk about was the hand guards. I had a time with these hand guards. And... I tried to go cheap the Amazon route that didn't work. Uh, Doug that I ride with and some of my videos, uh, he told me about the Zeta handguards. So I was like, well, I'm tired of fooling with uh, the ones that don't work. So I went ahead and ordered the Zeta. You have to order the bars and then order the plastic shield separately. Uh, Doug told me that I would have to cut my hand grip, which I did, and then I would have to drill out the hole that's inside the handlebar and re-tap to it for a bigger bolt. So I was prepared to do all that, but when I ordered these new hand guards, they evidently modified them so that they would fit the 300L better. So I didn't have to do anything. All I had to do was cut this, and uh, it comes with a shim, so all that worked really nice, and it, it fit up great it looks good i also had a problem with the cheaper ones with the way that it would i would put the uh the block out here and it just never would line up right this was in the way but zeta makes a offset onto this bracket that just goes around the uh the hydraulic brake reservoir and then over here on the other side uh same deal bracket clears your brake lever and uh, I really, really like these. Uh, they look well made, uh, and so far I'm really happy with them. And then next 
is the skid plate. And I had ordered an aluminum skid plate and it came in. I tried to bolt it up. There's four bolts. There's two here and then two down here on the bottom or in the back. And that aluminum skid plate would not line up. And instead of drilling holes, I just, Doug told me to just get a plastic one because it's molded around to protect the, uh, the case. And over here on the other side, it protects the water pump. And it just, it fits great. It molds around. I really like it. It was a little bit more expensive, maybe $20, $30 more. But again, this is a Acerbis and it fits fits great. I didn't have any problems lining up. It did probably take me three minutes to put it on. So really happy with that. Now let's uh let's get to this incandescent bulb. I gotta get that out of there. And uh there's something that I want to show you that I found out when I was putting this accessory switch on that drove me crazy and it took me a little bit to figure out and I wanted to show you that also. All right, I want to do a before and after just to see how it was. That's low beam. That's high beam. It's really not that bad. It's just, it seems a little dim though, the yellow color to it. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's put this LED in and see how it does. So I think the number one headlight for this bike is the Cyclops 10.0. Uh, it's a H4 headlight, and I was shopping around, and the, the Cyclops is like 80 bucks, and uh, so I've had pretty good luck with Tusk stuff before, so I thought I'd give this a shot. It was about $39, so it, it looks like it's, it's well built. So I thought I'd give it a try. I wish I would have had this headlight when I when I pulled all this off to uh, to put that accessory switch in. There's a little standoff here that the rubber grommet has to so uh, to go on. So when you put it back on, you have to put that on first. And what I wanted to mention to you was that the last time I took this off, when I was pushing it back in, I ended up pushing this bracket back, and I didn't realize it. And I couldn't get it to line up, and I was getting pretty frustrated. But that's pretty thin metal, and so I was able just to stick a screwdriver back and, and pry it up some and, and to get it back together so just keep that in mind if you you're pushing this back in and it, it seems like you're running into resistance it it may be because the rubber grommets didn't go around this and you may push it back so if it don't line up pull that forward just a little bit so i'd watched a video on this and what, what you have to do is you have to pop this rubber boot off and there's a, a little spring in here that you have to push down and then Pull it back and the light pops out just like that. There's that that spring. Just goes down there like that. Okay, so it only goes one way. And that's the wire facing the bottom of the light. And this guy goes around. clips in. Wow, that was easy. Probably going to have to cut it. Okay, I am going to have to cut it. That is not going to fit over that fan. So I guess I'll just cut out uh, this section here.
Yeah, I'm going to cut some more. Maybe uh, instead of cutting it off, I'll just slice it a little bit. Oh, there we go. All right, so it just takes a little bit of massaging to get it down on there. There we go. Okay. See if we can get it put back together. This is maybe a challenging get getting this uh, secured and stuck because it it's pretty tight back there. There's a lot of wires. So one thing that I don't like is uh, that is there is a gap there. I may I'm gonna put some electrical tape on that. I don't I don't like that. It's so cold I, I can't get the uh, electrical tape. It just it's just breaking off. Let me go in the house and get some. So I just did another product review without knowing it. I didn't have any tape in the house, but I had some in my garage, which is not heated. And it is the 3M Scotch brand, and it works in the cold better than the Harbor Freight tape. So. All right, there we go. Let's see if I can get, oh yeah, I can get to this side to tie wrap it in. So I'm gonna put, go ahead and put the screws in and uh, get it tie wrapped in. Perfect. So you can see the bundle is hanging down here and uh, there's plenty of room for it. I'm gonna tuck it up inside and attach it to the wire bundle there so when I turn the steering wheel it won't get hung up between the frame and the uh, the shock it'll follow the wire bundle okay let's see if that helped any it took me a minute to get tie wrap like I wanted where everything was clear but I, I think that'll work with no problems oh wow it is uh, definitely brighter it's probably it's probably hard to tell with the camera but it seems to be as bright on low beam as the incandescent was on on high beam the fan I'm not sure if the fans running but that's uh that's high beam low beam well in here it seems like it makes a big difference I, we'll have to see how it does on the road so uh, one thing I'm not sure about is the fan so I'm gonna turn the switch off and see if I can hear a difference. Oh yeah, okay. So the fan's super quiet on this thing, which is uh, really nice. So that wasn't too bad. It took me about 15 minutes probably to replace that headlight. Um, it's like I said, it's just you got to watch out for that bracket that you don't bend it, and you got to make sure that you put that um, that headlight in first on this side, and that goes together pretty quick. Took me a little bit of time to figure that out the first time I pulled it off, but all right, I think I'm ready to go. Uh, we're actually going to ride the Smoky Mountain 500 in April, uh, so we've got about three months, uh, four months. Looking forward to that. Uh, before then, I do need, the only other thing that I'm, I, I'm wanting to do is, is I'll probably replace this seat with a uh, Seat Concepts. Um, they're, they're really good seats and that thing is, it's, it's wider than the, the Kawasaki that I had and I can tell probably on a long day of trail riding how this seat's contoured. I can imagine this is going to, uh, the edges of the seat's going to uh, rub a good bit on your inner thighs so uh definitely probably get a seat concept before i, I try to do a, a four-day trail ride so all right guys i appreciate you watching i hope this helps out and uh stay safe out there